Welcome to Community Forum, a community service of CAN TV. I'm your host, Juan Carlos Hernandez. Our guests today are from Gads Hill Center, an organization that has been serving the city since 1898. Today, they're here to talk about their Healthy Moves program. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start off by talking to you, uh, Natalie Wade. Uh, yes. Tell us about uh, your role at Gads Hill and how long you've been there and what brought you there. Well, I've been there for about a little less than six months. Okay. Um, my role at Gads Hill, I am a health promoter. Mm -hmm. uh, I found out about Gads Hill through one of their sites, which is the Ogden site. They mm -hmm. have a child development site. My daughter attends there. Okay. Um, and by me attending a parent meeting, I found out about the Healthy Moves workshop. It grabbed my attention, and that's how I became a health promoter. Oh, wow. Great. And Tempfell, uh, tell us about yourself and what you do at G uh, Gads Hill. Uh, my name is Sonville Bucket, and I found out about Gas Hill through Hope Institute Learning Academy when Naya came to do a parent. They had like monthly parent meetings, and Naya came one morning and did a parent meeting and was like, it just sounded like something I was interested in. So I was like, I'll give it a go and see what happens. And since I've been doing it, it's like a learning experience, and I enjoy it. You really enjoy it. And uh, Melissa? Tell us about yourself and, and your role at Gads Hill, please. Um, I'm the Family Resource and Outreach Specialist at Gads Hill. Um, mm -hmm. I've been there for about a month now. Oh, um, short time. Yeah. <laughs> all of you have been there a short time. Yeah. Right. Like so I do all of the paperwork for the Healthy Moves Project, basically. All the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Is it stacks and stacks of uh, It can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start off. Um, well, now, thank you for your introduction and um, for the work you're doing. Tell us uh, about the Healthy Moves program and uh, uh, it's been around, how long it's been around, what the aim is. Um, this question is for Tim Bell or, or Nat Natalie, please. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the Healthy Moves program has mm -hmm. been around for about two years. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, I've, I've been in it less than a year. Mm -hmm. um, the Healthy Moves project is really about bringing the community together. Um, we saw a need for it um, in our community. We saw different health issues. Um, that different people face, such mm -hmm. as diabetes, um, mm -hmm. cholesterol, uh, heart disease. So by being a health promoter, um, we were able to initiate this Healthy Moves workshop and go around to different places and different facilities and educate our community about um, just uh, doing things differently, making healthy choices, um, mm -hmm. buying food, um, mm -hmm. such as fruits and vegetables, making sure that they're on a healthy diet mm -hmm. so that we're not infected, uh, our community-wise, with these diseases, so that it becomes a lifestyle for them. Okay, so uh, you're also a health promoter, right? So yes. uh, tell me about uh, how you inform people in the community about uh, the Healthy Moves program. Do you do it mainly through websites? Do you go to churches? Do you knock we, on doors? We do outreach. We go to like um, laundromats, churches, mm -hmm. YMCA's, and different places of that nature, grocery stores, different places of that nature, and just educate people and get them paperwork, you know, like get them flyers about our mm -hmm. program just to get them a better idea of what, what it is we're doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, allow them, you know, and give them an opportunity if they feel there's something that they're interested in, interested in and at some point they might want to join as a health promoter, we give them the opportunity, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, to experience the, what we experience as far as the Healthy Moves program. Okay, and uh, once, so you, that's how you were informed about this, essentially, in, in some ways? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. basically in mm -hmm. um, some, type of way. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I went to a parent meeting um, at mm -hmm. the Ogden site and a health promoter was giving the workshop. I was just a parent at that time, you mm -hmm. know, willing to listen. I wanted to be educated. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to take control of my life. Mm -hmm. um, so just by me getting that information, the incentive behind it was that I could go out and make my community aware as well. So mm -hmm. um, I definitely took on that challenge of becoming a health promoter. And mm -hmm. I took on the challenge um, and decided to become a health uh, promoter. Like I said, when Naya came to my kids' school and did a parent Naya's meeting. one of the staff uh, Right, Naya's members. one of the staff, um, the one of the staff coordinators over the Healthy Moves program mm -hmm. as well. And she came out and did a workshop at my kids' school. And I just wanted to give back to 
other folk, you know, give other people, give back to other people what was gave back to me because I needed the same way I need to learn how to, I needed to learn how to eat healthy and mm -hmm. her teaching talking to us about eating healthy. I want to pass that on to the next person because you have people out here with medical conditions, different medical conditions that don't eat right. Mm -hmm. And I figure if I can, you know, saying if if someone educated me on how to eat healthy, then I want to educate the next person on how to eat healthy. So during these, tell me about uh, these workshops, uh, what happens? They tell you, you you're all eating bad. You eat <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't you eat bad. Why, why are you eating McDonald's or any other fast food like that? No, or are they we like don't. yelling at you? or? No, they're not yelling at us. They're just basically, you know, like telling <laughs> us like the different, you know, what we, you know, like what we need to do for us when we um, go grocery shopping, you know, check labels, you know, look for the sodium. Of, you know the sodium the fat mm -hmm. and the different things of that nature so that we are know you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. if it's something you know that can cause health problems then you know they just basically it's just basically give you the angle of what to look for you know mm -hmm. and as far as eating fruits and vegetables and mm -hmm. different things of that nature because a lot of people really don't know how to eat healthy for us taking care of themselves so it's just basically to educate people yeah, definitely. And just to, you know, piggyback off um, what she said, Ms. Luckett said, the workshop um, consists of about an hour and a half, two hour workshop. Um, Is there a break in there? <laughs> you get a little break. You get a little <laughs> break. You yeah. do get a little break. Okay. Um, but as far as the one hour mm -hmm. to two and a hour workshop, it is a one time session. Oh, um, one time session. It is. Mm -hmm. We do have the Healthy Moves, which is a 12 week program okay. as well. Mm -hmm. But during the one and a half hour session, we talk about about 20 slides. And just to mm -hmm. piggyback about what she's talking about, we give them different guides. We um, such as a my plate guide. We um, use mm -hmm. as a tool in the workshop. And it's actual visual to show uh, the attendees that you only need about one fourth portion um, mm -hmm. of a plate. And sometimes um, that visual and showing them really brings everything home. It binds it together because mm -hmm. sometimes we might say, hey, we're just eating a plate of macaroni, you know, and mm -hmm. we have that plate and we think it's one serving. So we fill that whole plate up, <laughs> not knowing mm -hmm. that, you know, only one fourth is a serving. Mm -hmm. um, we also do explain into our workshops that eating healthy can be fun. You know, a mm -hmm. lot of times we think, oh, it's boring, the food's not gonna taste good. Mm -hmm. um, so in the workshop, we do give you different uh, links to different recipes, different sites. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the back of the label uh, concerns, right, just yeah, to piggyback yeah, a little bit on yeah, that. Yeah, tell me about that. We do, um, I try to bring in different boxes of food. Um, okay just to have the participants see like actually what you're eating. Mm -hmm. We want the fat and sugar content to really be below 20%. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, mm -hmm. We do also compare the fat-free brand versus the regular brand. Mm -hmm. um, we also uh, show the participants that necessarily because it says fat-free, it might be high in sugar in other areas. Right. Mm -hmm. So always it's important to read your labeling. So mm -hmm. um, we give the participants the tools. And if they want to continue on, they do have an option to attend our 12-week program as well. Okay, uh, uh, talking about those tools, um, I, I read a book by the journalist uh, Michael Pollan, and he says we should really read labels, like you're saying. But it also says um, watch out for those foods that have like a million ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, like we, with all these additives and preservatives. Do you, do you also talk about that during? We do talk about, uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, artificial uh, enhancements mm -hmm. um, in the food. We do um, explain to the participants that the first ingredient is pretty much the main ingredient. Mm -hmm. um, if you kind of can't read it, you know, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes those words are very long and right. those, you know, artificial enhancements. Mm -hmm. It's probably not good for you. I mean, if it takes you longer to to read the label, you know, mm -hmm. than to purchase it, you might want to move on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> that's good advice. Tim, you wanted to add something? Um, what was I about to say? Was, oh, God, was In regards to the ingredients and the labeling. Oh Thank yeah, we labels. right. We tell them to read the labels, and then like um, we have a post test, a pre test, and a post test. The pre test is just asking general questions on like. Pre test on, on what? Tell us what they the pre test are. is. Um, we give them the pre test, and it, it's just general questions like what are, what are they trying to increase or trying to decrease for us? They sugar intake, okay. they sodium intake, and it's not a right a right or wrong answer. It's just basically them asking questions based on what it is that they're trying to get out of the workshop, okay. and then after you know. 
at the end of the workshop is a post test, but it's the same exact questions, and it's just hopefully the answers would be different. Okay. But it's still, like I said, not a right or wrong answer. It's just basically questions, you know, for them to answer to, mm -hmm. you know, let us know what it is that they're trying to, you know, get at the program or basically what they're trying to work on. Mm -hmm. And it, it actually gauges the success of our program, mm -hmm. um, which kind of keeps this running, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it gauges us mm -hmm. to say, as health promoters, are we doing our job? You know, um, the community comes in, like the, like uh, Ms. Luckett said, mm -hmm. is that they take the pretest. We want to see what they know before they right. actually sit for that hour and a half workshop. Mm -hmm. And we're glad to see what they take from it after the um, hour and a half that we sit and we educate mm -hmm. them. And you would be surprised that in that hour and a half, you can really walk away with some good life-saving tips. Mm -hmm. It certainly sounds like it. And uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, it's this one and a half to two hour workshop you have. How often do you have them and where do you have these workshops? Um, well, they're as often, you know what I'm saying, like cause they can be like once a month or, you know, maybe twice, twice, a, you know, two or three times at the month. It's just based on you have to go to, um, you know, like do we go to like different, you know, either Melissa which is the coordinator, she call, you know, she might have people to call in and say, oh, well, we need somebody to come out and do a workshop. Okay. And, you know, we go to like different little events and stuff that need help promoters, but we also set up our own workshop with agencies that we know, like, um, per se, a shelter, mm -hmm. um, uh, senior citizen building, schools, mm -hmm. community centers, who are, you know what I'm saying, whatever agencies would allow us to come in and educate, you know what I'm saying, and, pro you know, promote healthy moves. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. but we, you know, we go wherever, you know, okay. it's not no set place, you know. So you go wherever, and you mean, like you said, you mentioned, uh, you go to, to s senior centers as well? And mm -hmm. Yes. Because some people would say, ah, I'm too old to care about this stuff. Yeah. How do you respond to that type of question during these workshops? Some I mean, we can't make them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, can't, only, you know. We, we only there to try to, you know what I'm saying? We only there to try to educate them the way we were educated, but right. it's optional, you know what I'm saying? If you feel that, you know, you don't want to listen, then we can't say, okay, well, you have to sit here and listen to, you know what I'm saying? You have to mm -hmm. sit here and listen to what I'm saying. You grown, you know what I'm saying? You have, either, you know, it's like a win-win situation. Either, you know what I'm saying? You might <laughs> have some that's, in, you know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. might have some that's interested in listening. You might have some that's don't, you know what I'm saying, that's not. But you try to get, you know what I'm saying, we try to get our message, or, you know, across and, you know, the best, you know, to the best of our ability. Yes. Yeah. And hope mm -hmm. that, you know, at the end of the workshop, someone actually, you know, we actually got through to someone yeah. where, you know, they feel that it was beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, Melissa, so do you gather these uh, pre and post tests or and all this information? and? Yeah, tell me about that. That's how, a, what you, uh, that you know, a section of the paperwork. Um, <laughs> we have a database that the whole agency uses, mm -hmm. and so we, I have to enter each individual person that does the pre and po te post test has to be entered into the system, and then we can run a report to see what are people learning, what's different, you know, and to really see what, what effect is this having on people. Okay. And what are you finding with all that information? Um, that for the most part, the, the largest thing that I've seen as I'm entering the data is that it might not be um, that, I guess, sorry, the, the thing that I'm impressed by the most mm -hmm. is that people are more likely to say, I believe that I can do this. Mm -hmm. I believe that I have the power to make healthy choices for my family. And that that's what people are getting out of it the most. Uh, so uh, sometimes we think, um, well, why am I doing this questionnaire or things like that? But actually, that helps you all, like you mm -hmm. said, see uh, your success rate, but also where you might need to, to change or inform people a little better, right? Definitely, yeah. or implement something else mm -hmm. um, that maybe we're not uh, maybe getting through in that hour and a half workshop mm -hmm. or something that might be important to our members in the community that they might want to learn more about. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, I'm sure we get those results by implementing uh, that data into the into the system. Right. And, um, and it basically helps us also to see like which angle, you know what I'm saying, which direction we need to go in and if there's any changes need to be made, then what, you know what I'm saying, what changes we need to make, you know what I'm saying, to mm -hmm. get healthy moves, you know, 
really, you know what I'm saying, really help yeah. someone out and mm -hmm. really to, you know, get yeah. them to understand what it is that we're trying to do. That's, that's great. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. Uh, beyond these workshops, you mentioned that uh, you have the program, it's 12 week program? Absolutely, yes. Uh, okay, so um, now, now I guess you're inspiring some folks to say, you know what, uh, I need to make a bigger commitment. Is that what's happening? Or, t or tell me how it's yeah. how you gather people and what happens. And yeah, uh, this question is for all of you. And <laughs> go ahead it's, and start. it's really to get them to be committed until you know, like healthy moves. As far as you know, we um, to really you know to promote healthy moves and to really get through to them. And mm -hmm. you know, if there's something that they really want to do, then you know, it's to get them to ask the push that they need. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, when we do the hour and a half workshops, we end it uh, with the sign in or sign up sheet. Uh, we do let them know about our healthy moves, a 12 week course class, and it is optional if they do want to sign up. Believe it or not, we we fill the sign up sheets uh, like crazy. I mean, really? sometimes, yeah, you because don't have to force anybody. We mm -hmm. don't have to force them because. Um, oh, yes. I believe, yeah, that if we do a good job as a health promoter in that mm -hmm. hour and a half workshop, we try to piggyback off that good energy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And we want them to participate further. So at that time, you know, it's kind of maximizing on the time. Mm -hmm. They got all the good information about how to eat healthy, mm -hmm. how much physical activity each adult and child should have. Mm -hmm. um, and we also try to give them the tools that they need so that they're not running all around. So mm -hmm. here, sign up here, Gads Hill Center, offers a healthy workshop move for 12 weeks mm -hmm. where we get you out working, doing different physical activities, and we get more in depth with the information. Um, so, so yeah, so take me, let's say um, I'm at one of these workshops and uh, I'm a little overweight, there's a history of diabetes in my family and I'm concerned, you know, I'm like, um, am I gonna get diabetes? I wanna take care of myself, but I don't know how, so I, I'm, I'm really impressed by what you told me, but I'm, I don't know if I can make a 12 week commitment. Um, take me through those 12 weeks as briefly as you can. Mm -hmm. What happens, what we learn, uh, and what you hope uh, individuals carry on after that. Well, um, 12 weeks, it can be pretty uh, time consuming or a big mm -hmm. commitment. So we do, um, we wanna take it week by week, mm -hmm. day by day. We do break it up into different sessions. The first session is definitely about more about healthy eating, mm -hmm. um, how to budget, how to mm -hmm. grocery shop, and where to go to mm -hmm. get the healthy foods right. and the different needs that they um, need, such as you know, a diabetic might need um, more organic food. So sometimes in that workshop, we do go on field trips later on in the weeks to mm -hmm. farmer's markets. Okay. Um, so that way you have options of good, fresh, organic food. You know, mm -hmm. So sometimes you're not reaching for that artificial sugar all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very important um, as, a, as we being health promoters and we teach the workshops and um, working with Gads Hill that we don't just leave our participants, our people in the community just out there. Mm -hmm. We want to give them the links that they need so that you know maybe if they don't have the, the financial aspect of it, we do SNAP, which is mm -hmm. Supplemental Nutrition Assistant mm -hmm. Program for Families. Right. So it's the government w was food stamps essentially right? correct mm -hmm. that that was mm -hmm. the former name of it mm -hmm. so um also as health promoters you gain um, more knowledge and i can mm -hmm. become a certified application mm -hmm. support so that i can help the participant in the healthy moves workshop you know locate everything that they need right and uh, that's you know it does a uh, one question that does occur to me and actually it's a, a big issue in our city is uh, um food, food deserts right uh, some of our communities are far from good, fresh, wholesome food that's really going to give us all that we need to to be healthy. So how do we respond to that need? Tempo? That's the purpose of us, like, doing our 12-week training, taking them out to different farmer's markets, different grocery stores, and um, doing cooking demos, you know, taking them to uh, places for cooking demonstrations so that they would know where they can go, you know, go get new good nutrition food from. Mm -hmm. And uh, and to help, and uh, uh, at the same time, to help them, you know, like, save money and budget money, you know, to mm -hmm. be able to provide and get the things that they need to help 
yeah, just so enrich their lives, you know, and make it easier for them. Because like, as you mentioned, you know, for example, it might be a big commitment for someone to mm -hmm. attend those 12 weeks. So we try to gain their attention right in the door. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people in our community face, you know, as we mentioned before, food deserts. They don't know where to go, you right, know. Right. Um, they might not have the transportation or they might be new to the community. So right. we're here to help them. That's exactly what we're here to, to do, to facilitate them, to give them all the needs. And some of it, you know, might be health issues. You know, mm -hmm. some people might not even have the health insurance. That's a, mm -hmm. another aspect that we do offer um, mm -hmm. in that Healthy Moves workshop as well. And then we have other things that we also will be, t um, that we also will be teaching them through the t uh, 12 week class, like Zumba, yoga, out a robot, you know, different things of that nature okay, too, yes, you know, different things of that nature because that is still, you know, help them, you know, stay fit and, mm -hmm. you know, you know, so yeah. it wasn't a, no problems, you know, whatever, whatever it is that they're trying to, you know, they're trying to lose weight or whatever it is that they're trying to get out of health mm -hmm. moves, we're just basically going to make it as comfortable for them as possible for far mm -hmm. as the okay. different things that we had to offer through the Healthy most yeah, yeah, which is the exciting thing. So uh, the impression I was getting, and I, I, and I guess M Melissa has a lot of information. <laughs> he said a small, you get a small portion from those pre and post tests, uh, and but I'm sure you get a lot of other paperwork to work with and process. I guess the impression I was getting is, all or the participants in this uh, twelve week program do is go into a classroom and sit. No, no. no. this is an inter. No, it's an interacting program. Yeah. It's like we do yoga. You know, we might do yoga one day. We might do Zuma one day. You know, what I'm saying we might just go walking. You know, what I'm saying walking, <laughs> aerobics. We do different things, but the class will actually be worth their while. They won't just be sitting there for like because the classes run on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 1, but we have to, we break it down to two sessions. There's a 9, a 9 to 11 section, and then a 11 to 1 section. But during the two hour period, it's like, well, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's a lot of hands on and it's fun. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, what, oh, you just sitting there for two hours bored out of your mind. No, we try to make it as comfortable <laughs> no. and as fun as possible. And how the classes go is that there's like an introduction, make sure that everybody knows each other. And then there's it kind of, to me, it looks a little bit like a support group where everybody has a couple minutes to talk about all right, what did you do in the last week to improve your health and did it work and how is it challenging and what ideas does everybody have? And then from there you go into the actual class part where you're learning, okay, what are we going to talk about this week to improve your health? And then there's a small break and then you go into half an hour of some sort of physical activity and then from there we talk about healthy snacks and then there's actually going to be a healthy snack provided. Oh, really? So there's a lot of activity, there's a lot of discussion, so it's not just sitting in class and, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's very interactive. So, yeah. so there's no, uh, and the healthy snack, it's not chips or, or pop mm -hmm. or anything? No, like, like granola bars, Cheerios, Cheerio. you know, different, you know, maybe some, maybe some fruits or things of that yogurts, nature, you know what I'm saying? Smoothies. Yogurts, you know, diff different things of that nature, you know, to really like. Mm -hmm motivate them and well, see motivate, how they you know motivate them far as you know to get them to eat healthy it's, and yeah. and also to educate them on how to um help their kids because uh, yeah what you learn in your family you carry on through life yeah, right because you know these kids they get up in the morning and know that they haven't even ate breakfast but they want to you know on their way to school they want to stop at the store and get flaming hot some con <laughs> high country girls do they actually need to go to the store and get high country girls mm -hmm. or flaming hot at seven o'clock in the morning no they need to get a they need to know you need uh, if you're going to get some, you need a banana, a granola bar, something of that nature. But if you don't know yourself, then you can't educate your kids. So in case your kids going to think it's okay to go get them some Flaming Hot and Hot Crunchy Girls at 7 o'clock in the morning. So if you <laughs> teach yourself that, okay, even if I don't want it, I have to, you know what I'm saying, I have to eat this, you know what I'm saying, to get my kids to eat healthy, mm -hmm. then it's just, you know, that's just an obstacle yeah. that you have to do because the kids... They also can get medical conditions too, and sometimes it takes kids to really get sick before the parents even find out that they have medical conditions. Because, you know, right. it's you know it's not just like it's gonna happen over. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a long term thing. But to avoid that, you just do what you can. And so by us educating them, they have to educate their kids, and then they also teach you when you go to the grocery store. It might be a lot of stuff you want, but is it healthy? Mm -hmm. 
So if I don't, you know what I'm saying, if you shop, you, if you know how to shop smart and shop healthy, then it'll be easier where it was, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And that'll, uh, you know, get them, you know, that'll get the, you know, mm -hmm. get the kids, you know, get them some salary and, you know, different things of that nature. And it all ties into each yeah, other. Yeah, it all ties in. So it's like a learning experience for you. And then you pass it on to your household. And then, you know, eventually you might even be able to help another family member out. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, it's a... Healthy Definitely. moves is basically like a learning experience for everyone. Everyone gonna learn together. That's that's great. And and talking about learning together, uh, we're running out of time here. So I want to talk about uh, cohorts. You're gonna be working with cohorts uh, now through the Healthy Moves program. Tell me how that works. Yeah, well, the cohorts program, um, it's pretty much dads. I don't. It's it's not their actual mission, but mm -hmm. as a health promoter, it's almost reach one, teach one. Um, attitude so if you can sit and you can participate for 12 weeks mm -hmm. um, the reason why it is 12 weeks 30 days you get a new habit mm -hmm. is that at the end now because you've gained a new lifestyle skill mm -hmm. you can go teach it to someone else and you and can go out I, over the 12 weeks you you might just say okay I want to become a health promoter because over that 12 weeks you actually done learned enough where mm -hmm. you feel oh you know saying now I can go out and help someone else you know Absolutely. it you know, I can go, you know, I, this is my, this is my experience, you know, mm -hmm. I had a, you know, and My question you is, how do you form these cohorts, or, or do you form them? Uh, um, what happens is mm -hmm. we draw from everyone who's participated in one of the workshops and okay. offer them, we say, like, we're going to start this in this week, this time. If you're interested, you can sign up for one of the groups, and then that's how we get the different mm -hmm. groups set up. Okay, and uh, like you said, uh, what, what did you say? Um, the cohorts. Um, uh, reach one, teach one. Reach one, yeah. teach one. Yeah, it's definitely interactive. Mm -hmm. It's all about forming community because that's that's interesting because a lot of times I think, uh, especially in a big city like this, we're, we are surrounded by a lot of people, but everybody's in their own little world, right? Yes. And I think we tend to lose uh, touch with the fact that we can form community and we can mm -hmm. support each other. Yes. Uh, is and I guess that's one of the purposes of the cohorts. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it definitely is. It's about building the community up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about knowing your neighbor, knowing who your community consists of, and we want to send that one constant message. So mm -hmm. if we reach one and teach one, and you participate in the healthy workshop, and then you want to go out and reach one and teach one about your healthy workshop, mm -hmm. we're doing our job. We're building our community, and we're building a healthy community. So that's the total purpose of this. Definitely, definitely. And the cohorts <coughs> is also to promote um, the um, this new program that they're gonna eventually start. Um, everything is gonna be like where you gonna have to eventually eat healthy. Where you're only gonna be able to go to like the whole food stores and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Whole food stores and basically everything will be like organic or whatever. So basically, it's to get everyone prepared because when that change come, you already know like what you up against when you go in the grocery store. You know, you might not, you might see some potato chips, but are they your potato chips that you used to eating? So it's basically like getting everybody prepared because that's how, you know, that's, you know, that's what they trying to do anyway. They trying to teach everyone to eat healthy because we have a lot of people out here that don't eat healthy. Right. So if you already edu being educated on it, and preparing yourself when the change do come, you know what I'm saying, you'll be prepared and ready. You won't just be like stuck like, yeah. you know, like, oh, I, I don't eat this, but I don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? You'll right. know what you're, you already know what you're up against, basically, what you're mm -hmm. going, you know, what you're dealing with. Yeah, I think I do see that that change happening little by little in, yeah. in, in, our, in our country. And well, across the world, I think there's the growing concern with uh, not just, um, being healthy but making healthy communities and um, actually growing healthy food together yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Uh, um, one last question uh, we're almost out of time here uh, and this one is for uh, Melissa uh, uh, just quickly what do you hope um, uh, that the community learns from from this program um, what we're hoping to that people learn is mm -hmm. just that eating healthy and having a healthy lifestyle is in your power and it doesn't matter you know where you come from or what you're doing or mm -hmm. how big your family is you still you have the power to be healthy and to make healthy choices and to help other people make healthy choices great well thanks to all of you for coming out today and sharing such great information with us thank you so much yeah, thank for you having for having us, us.
And to you, our audience, thank you for joining us. Community Forum is a community service of CAN-TV. If your nonprofit organization would like to work with CAN-TV, call 312-738-1400 and ask for nonprofit services. Tune into Community for Forum for local issues and concerns every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on CAN-TV 21. I'm Juan Carlos Hernandez. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.